Well, they have a really good player at quarterback, so <laughs> that will start there. But um, really, I mean, what we've seen on film with them is that they've uh, they've eliminated teams by the fatigue factor. Uh, you know, some teams will be up on them, say mid, late third quarter, and then they'll just blow the door open. Um, so what we've been attacking is just the fatigue factor and everything. Uh, if we uh, eliminate that and just get lined up, as we've seen this offense time and time again, because it's just like our offense, uh, we just get lined up, but we'll, we'll be fine. Playing a 15 game, how big of a concern is that fatigue factor for you guys? Oh, it's not that much of a concern. I mean, you're in the national championship. Uh, you know, you got to be mentally tough, even if you are tired. I mean, it was a mentally tough game going against Alabama, so uh, we'll, be, we'll be fine. It's not an issue. Can you elaborate on what you just said a little bit? Um, similar, how similar is it to Oregon's offense, what you guys face here? Well, it's very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, I mean, they have speed athletes. They like to work space and like to, they like to work their athletes in space. Um, whatever, whatever way they can get their athletes the ball in space is what, you know, it's just like our offense will be utilized. So. That helps us cause for our defense because, I mean, we see it every day. So uh, it's not like we'll be seeing anything new too much. But uh, just really the fatigue factor is what we're going to uh, practice for. Their uh, tempo, when they really get going fast, um, is are they trying to catch you not lined up? I mean, just how important is communication, I guess, against a team like this? Communication is huge, but honestly getting lined up is the big part. If you can just get lined up, uh, we'll be fine. Uh, it's just that we can't. There is no celebration after, say, you make a play or something. Just get up and get lined up. Granted, they don't go hurry up every single time, but our mentality and what we've been practicing is that we're expecting it every play. And so we've been practicing that way, and uh, we hope it'll pay off for us. I don't know that it's happened before, but you know, you guys playing the three finalists for the Heisman mm -hmm. in consecutive weeks. Um, just talk about that challenge, and is that? Is that fun uh, as a defensive player to play against guys that you know are the best? Oh, I mean, absolutely. If you're, I mean, competitive I mean, from a competitive standpoint, that's huge. But uh, you know, I mean, we're playing the winner of it. I mean, he's a really, he's a great player, heck of a quarterback. Uh, you know, we're gonna have to really be on a job assignment. We have to play, play fundamentally sound football for this guy. Um, Got to keep leverage on him when he breaks pocket and breaks contain. He makes a lot of big plays and keeps his team in the game. Uh, so I think we eliminate that and just going by doing our job and stuff. I mean, it goes back in practice too. Our coaches will do a great job of making sure we're prepared. And so, uh, you know, great preparation with practice. Uh, we'll be good in the game. This is uh, uncharted waters for college football. And Coach Meyer was talking about he is always worried about the grind of the season and you guys. Can you feel it physically? Oh, is I mean, it different at this point? Of the, I mean, I know you only have one game left. Yeah. And who cares at I mean, this yeah, point? I mean, but. I think if anybody was playing right now, they'd be tired. But. I mean, come on, man. We're, we're part of like a small 1% of people playing, even counting the NFL, too. So, hey, just bow up and go out and play. Play for the national championship. What are we talking about? You know? <laughs> it's a national championship. You'll be fine. So. Darren, as you guys have prepared for them uh, early this week, have y'all looked at specific games like Arizona? The second time they played them, Oregon blew them out. But the first time, Arizona had a really pretty good defensive game against them. Do y'all look at games like in that regard about what they got done in that game, what worked for them? What's worked for them all season is really just what they wear teams down, yeah. fatigue. They, uh, their but tempo. I'm Arizona had a good game against them the first time when they beat them. You know oh. what I'm saying? Do y'all look at that specifically and kind of take some things from that? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we'll put our game plan in on, uh, on Thursday. But uh, what we've just seen, what we've just been addressing these first two practices is just tempo. Yeah. And we're getting everybody used to the tempo, uh, getting D line to get lined up and stuff. and. You know, get, make sure everybody else is lined up so we can just play the next play. Your mom was in on the uh, uh, Twitter trail or whatever about uh, uh, players, parents, families yeah. getting. Uh, did you hear the news about the twelve hundred fifty? What's yeah, the news? Each parent's now going to get uh, reimbursed up to twelve hundred fifty bucks for the for really? the trip to the game. They announced that earlier. So I think. What's your response to that, or what's your reaction to that? I think yeah, I think that's I think that's huge. I mean, I mean, if you go back to recruiting, I don't think you're recruiting just a player, you're recruiting a family. So I think the family is just as part of the team as the player is. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's huge. Um, I feel that like parents should always be able to travel with players for free. Also, that's my personal opinion, but I know that's not really how it's going to happen and whatnot. But um, I think that's huge. That's huge for parents. Um, that's really great news to hear, actually. So.